we know exactly what is required of us, you know, by reading the text, you know, by by reading the Bible. Um, so therefore, we don't need any more prophets. And so therefore, we don't need any more prophets. And so therefore, we don't need any more prophets. And, and, and you know, um, uh, you know, people coming down with any new revelations or anything like that. So we have God's word in its entirety. So. Therefore, the law is written on our hearts because we know exactly what is right and what is wrong because we have that conscience to tell us that. Fear and trembling through the spirit and power, you have Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, no prophets, no prophecy, no power. All right, and this is going to be a response, vi uh, response video to the spiritual retards on the planet today, known as Christians. Okay, uh, chiefly it was inspired by this so-called uh, uh, Christian Alton Johnson. He called himself a pastor. He made an idiotic statement that we don't need any prophets. Man. All right, can a brother get Revelation 19 and 10? It's Revelation 19 and 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not, I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shah. Worship Yahweh for the testimony of Yahweh Shah is a spirit of prophecy. It says the testimony, all right, of the one that you called Jesus Christ, whose true name is Yahweh Shah, all right, which we receive through the spirit, all right? It's prophecy, man. Okay? Prophecy. So, Yahweh Shai himself is the chief prophet. Alright? So, if you to say we don't need any prophets, by default, you say we don't need a savior. Alright? Mm -hmm. Because the power of these scriptures, what makes this Bible uh, so powerful in the earth, being, being the number one uh, a supreme book in the earth, man, is the prophecies in this book actually happen, man. You know? So, that's strike one. Let's get the word prophecy. Right, the word prophecy in the Greek is prophetia, and it says a discord emanating from divine inspiration and declaring the purposes of God, whether by reproving and admonishing the wicked, or comforting the afflicted, or revealing things hidden, especially by foretelling future events. And how does the Lord reveal things through his servants, the prophets, man? All right? I say surely, which we want to get it. You know, I, I hate to, to jump the gun, but the scriptures does say, surely the Lord would do nothing but He revealed His secrets, okay? Until His servants, the prophets. Mm -hmm. All right. So when you go into that word, I want you to get it in the Strong's too. Uh, read the Strong definition, Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Right, that word is prophetos. And it says, in Greek writers, the interpreter of oracles or of other hidden things. Uh, interpreter of hidden things, right? Now, the scriptures is a mystery, right? And the only way that these mysteries can be broken down is if you have an interpreter. That interpreter is called a prophet, all right? Let's go to uh, Ephesians 2 and 8. Because when he read, it says by, uh, read that definition of Salaki one more time, where it says by emanating uh Oh, it's, it's through influence, man. Go ahead, bro. It says, a discourse emanating from divine inspiration. Divine inspiration, okay? Which that has to come from the Heavenly Father through the Son, man. All right? That's the only way that you can get the truth of the scriptures. It's through uh, 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 divination, man. All right? And can I add on to it? Go ahead, bro. Just a tidbit. Come on. Which shows the contradiction of these so-called Christians today's times. Your modern-day pastors and preachers... Are, are, are the same symbolic or, or, or synonym to an ancient prophet. Right. That's what they're supposed to be. Right. And because they're utilized as what? As the mouthpiece of the Heavenly Father. Right. The Heavenly Father is in the heavens up above. He has men whom he has ordained and not ordained who proclaim to have his, his true message. You know, who proclaim to have his truth. So you go to the churches, the Catholic Church, the Baptist Church, whatever church under that denomination of Christianity. Those uh, particular leaders are nothing but modern-day prophets. False prophets. False prophets. 
gun. But they, and yes, they're trying to do the will of a prophet, which, which is the prophesy to the people. Right, right. We just really give them the um, false hope. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, uh, the, the, the fake prophets and the preachers and the deacons and the bishops, what they do is they speak prosperity. Instead of what you're supposed to be speaking with, uh, right? Like you get in, in Jeremiah, right? You prophesy of, of war, evil, and that's what you're supposed to be doing. That's what you're supposed to be doing as a prophet or a preacher. You know, you're supposed to be speaking for what should come, you know, because when you, as a, a faith uh, pastor, or whatever, they not speaking what's supposed to come, you know, because that money, that prosperity, hey, it say that this is not our rest. So how is that prosperity going to help us in a day of wrath? You know, in a day of trouble? It, it ain't going to help us. But we, 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 what, what's going to help us is the law of statutes and commandments. What's the knowledge of this to build our time? So uh, if, if a prophet is not preaching, prophesying, all right, uh, or the coming of Yahweh Shah, he's not a prophet. Because you, know? yep. you have to know uh, that this Bible and his prophecies to uh, reveal the power, to unleash the power, right? But you have to know the prophecies that has already come to pass. You got to know the past, the present, and the future, man. Right? So if you don't uh, uh, believe that you need a prophet, then you should just throw the Bible away, man. You know? Because the whole, the, it says the spirit of the one that you call Jesus Christ is prophecy. Right? Stop going to church. Stop going to church. <laughs> Hey, if I can say this, man, I don't want to butcher it. If brother want to bring it out, say what was, would be, and what was, would be done, but nothing new under the sun. Not to get it, bro. It's the spirit. Oh, come, come. It. So, I mean, it's just like in the days of old, man. I mean, the Lord sent forth his prophets before the fall of every uh, kingdom, man. So, if there was no need for a prophet, what, what, what what's the point of having that scripture, man? I mean, it, it makes no sense, man. The Lord is going to send his prophets out, man, before the fall of every kingdom, man. They always get on us about not reading the context. But you miss the key points in the Bible, man. You know? You miss the key major points in the Bible. We give it to you plain, and you go some other way and come up with your own ideologies, man. That's way off. Man. That's why the uh, uh, Apostle Tahar and on down, man, that's why he pushed... Looking up the definitions of word, man, going to the Greek, going to the Hebrew, man, mm -hmm. to give you a more in-depth meaning of these words, man, because the Bible was first written in Hebrew, man, that was the first language, man. So, therefore, you're not going to get the right interpretations, man, if you don't go back to the original, man, so to speak, man. That's right, bro. And going into their word, pastor, we got to get it to it, man. That's what you call your leaders in your churches, pastors, well, what, what are pastors? Let's, let's, let's go. Yeah, come, come. Real quick. Uh, Acts chapter 3, verse 21. Whom the heaven must receive unto the times of restitution of all things, which the heavenly Father has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, does that need any, any explanation? Mm, you know, mm. the, words, the, the word is spoken. The word of the Lord is spoken. By the mouth of his prophets, man. Since the world began. The scripture tells you in Malachi, the Lord was saying yesterday, today, and forever. So all of a sudden, he just came down and said, oh, well, you know what? We don't need no more prophets. <laughs> I feel like we're flared this morning. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, when you... Um, hey, read that again. Okay. Whom the heaven okay. must must receive until the times of restitution of all things which the Most High has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. And when you go into that term restitution it's uh And it states of the perfect state before the fall. Perfect state before the fall. So we're going to get that. That, that order is being the sons of the most high. You know, like hey, the revelation what we were talking about. Hey, so a prophet has to deliver this message before your house shall return. If not, then the kingdom of the kingdom of heaven would never transpire on earth. Because yeah, it's all about speaking 
It's all about speaking it into existence. That's the power of the Lord. When you get Psalms uh, 33 and 6, it said he spake. Uh, uh, I don't want to butcher it. The brother can grab it real quick. But he, he, he spake everything into existence, man. And the first spirit that he spoke into existence was Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Right? That's why Yahweh Shai is known as the Word. Because the Heavenly Father spoke Yahweh Shai into existence. And when he spoke into existence, everything that he had planned for the uh, creation was already in Yahweh Shai. He knew what to do, man. You know? Yeah. Uh, Psalms 33 and 6. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made. All the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. All the hosts by the breath of his mouth, man. And the scriptures tell you that the prophets are the, are the mouthpiece of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shah is the chief prophet. So for you to say, that's how you know that these Christians don't know what the hell they're talking about. That's right, bro. For you to say that you don't need any prophets anymore is to say, I don't need the Lord. I don't need the Lord, man. Because that's that's how the Lord guides his people, man. That's how he protects us, man. And then, well, 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 where Moses was then. You know? Yeah, right. He raised up Moses. You know, he always raised up prophets. All right? So you saying we ain't need Moses? He's saying we don't need them anymore. That's that's his case. We don't need prophets anymore. So we don't need him. <laughs> Even though he know he ain't part of the truth, but we don't need you speak. Yeah. Right. What is your purpose? Your purpose? What is your purpose? Right. He obviously don't know. <laughs> got, got something. Real quick. Okay, Jeremiah 5 and 14. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord, power of hosts, because he speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. Mm -hmm. That's what it's doing. Yeah. They, they Christians get getting upset, man, because the word is offensive. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they, in their mind, all this word is supposed to do is make you feel good and comfortable. Exactly. Jeremiah 23 29 is not my word like as fire, said the Lord Yahweh, and like a hammer that Ooh. breaketh the rock in pieces. Yeah. <laughs> so the, go ahead, bro. Really crushes their soul. Yeah. To actually know how the Lord really feels. Yeah. Because Isaiah speaks about crying out loud, spraying out. Mm -hmm. Like them pastors not, not crying out loud and they uh, spraying. You know, but you got the true being of the Lord. Hey, we we sparing not, man. We actually tell you according to the scriptures, do what the Lord said. Right. Whether you like it or love it. That's why you gotta have testicles to get his testimony. You know, you gotta be a man. It's required that you be bold. You can't give a shit about what the majority of the people in the world think of the Lord's judgment. That's right. You gotta hold it true, all right, and bring it out. And and the only way that you can do that, you have to detach. From your emotions, man. And only men can actually. Yeah, only men can actually have a testimony. Right. Yeah. That word testimony goes to, the to your testimony. So when you was basically presenting your word, you could really hold your best. Yep. Women, that goes to show you that. That's basically what he that's was what saying, saying because right after that he goes on to say we have the law and statutes and commandments in us. Oh shit. You know, so he basically said this is a this is, this is it. This that's is a future it. prophecy. <laughs> Every law statute and commandments inside of us is a future <laughs> prophecy. Mm -hmm. So why do you die? Right. If, if that's the purpose, if, if what you're saying is correct, then why do we perish? Mm -hmm. All right, why do, why would we need a savior? Mm -hmm. All right, why is your mama dropping dead? All right, why can't you live forever? Why can't your kids, you know what I'm saying, why you can't enjoy your kids, man, if this is the kingdom of heaven according to what you're saying? Why we get the day and not captivity? Right. Mm -hmm. You know? And what did Elijah prophesy, though? He prophesied 
I mean, not, uh, John the Baptist. Yeah, John, John the Baptist. John the Baptist prophesied of whom? Yeah, the Lord coming back. back. His, right. his grand debut. Yeah. So he come back the second time. You believe in the second coming, right? Right. right. So somebody's are gonna somebody's gonna be sounding that alarm and blowing that trumpet for the uh, and for the Lord's uh, uh, second yeah. return, right. man. And according to his doctrine, that has already happened. Mm. In order to have the law, statutes, and commandments yeah. within the yeah. Yeah. So the Lord already already back. Yeah. <laughs> that don't make sense. Yeah, because we know better than that. No, hey brother, go get with that Ephesians. Yeah, then you got Jeremiah. And this is Ephesians two and eight. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of the Most High. So it's the gift of the Most High. <coughs> All right, it's a gift of the Most High to understand these uh, 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 scriptures and these prophecies within this book, man. And it's through what grace, man? Grace. And when you go into that term grace, it's Strong's G5484 pronounced as. Hey, I'm going to get to the point. Yeah, you read A and Strong's. Yeah. The two way or one way? Yeah, two way. Yeah, two way. Of the merciful kindness by which the most high. Exerting his holy influence upon souls. Exerting his holy influence upon souls. Yeah. Now, how to exert? That's an action word, right? That takes energy. It yeah. takes. It takes a uh, 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 action. So, who's exerting this? All right. Who? The Lord is giving it. Like it's, it's a scripture that say, uh, Apollo's water. Yeah, yeah, the Lord give it. The Lord has give the increase. You know. Go ahead, bro. And then you say energy. That's that's talking about literally the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Turn, yeah, exerting His holy influence upon souls, turn them, turns them to Mashiach, keeps, strengthens, increases them in Mashiach in faith, knowledge, affection, and kindles them to the exercise of Mashiach in virtue. The only way via the Holy Spirit. Gone. That's the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit works works through men. Yeah. Uh, when, you, when you read in um in Acts, was it is it one? When you how Shah told uh, the apostles the Holy the Holy Ghost is gonna come upon you and you're gonna prophesy basically you're gonna preach this gospel right. unto the uttermost parts right. of the earth. <laughs> if I may. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> Baruch chapter four, verse thirty seven. Lo, thy sons come whom thou sentest away. They come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One. If I could just add, because what happens is that is initiated by Yahweh Shah through the angels. The chief prophet. Yeah, so when those, so like when you have these concepts to do lessons, or if you're reading and you understand the breakdowns, or you come up with these precepts, those are literally angels putting it in your mind. The only reason why you understand, or you're able to understand this brother videos and that brother videos is via the Holy Spirit. That's right, bro. Because right? you can listen to a prophet all day long. Yeah. But if that Holy Spirit is not placed upon you, you're not going to get it. That's why I say wisdom is the principal thing. Yeah. And without our getting, you will get understanding. Right? And that has to come from who? It has to come from the inspiration of the Lord, the influence of the Lord through the angels, man. That's right, bro. That's, right. that's why That's why you Christians can't get it because you don't have the Holy Spirit. Man. It wasn't given up to you. It wasn't given up to you, man. Go ahead. Yeah, that was it, bro. Okay, uh, read this strong for me, though. My right, back in uh, Ephesians 2 and 8, definition 2, 